Hi, my name is Albert Jonathan. I'm from Indonesia. Hi, my name's Ilan and I'm from Sabah. My name is Jake Atienza, I'm from the Philippines. It's an amazing exhibition where you can see different generations coming together from Southeast Asia and also different artworks presented say from the 80s until now. You can feel where people go through. It really reflects also its country, where it comes from and where it's going to. Nacho itself is an Indonesian slang word which means not correct or whatever. And this project is actually reflected about the situation in my country. And we have a government but we don't feel like we do have one. We often call it autopilot country, but we survive. What we're trying to do is use art as a platform to tackle social, economic and environmental issues. In Indonesia, the religious intolerance or religious differences is it's always a problem even until now. For me, religion has to be a personal experience. The way how artists also express themselves is so diverse and so very interesting. This work, it's an inkjet print of a Google satellite image taken through the batik process. Batik is traditionally one of the few artifacts from history that was made by women. This series that this work comes from was called Orang Besar and it was a very male series about political and economic structures. It's looking at Southeast Asia as a corridor region between very prominent empires but it's told through Batik which in my mind is the female text by tradition. I'm Ifek Sarsono from Indonesia. My research about the Chinese people who got massacred during 1948 in, in my hometown. But then after that, I found uh, some mass graves in other places. And until this time, I already found 13 mass graves in uh, Java Island. I was thinking about this, having a Southeast Asian platform in Japan, it's a bit odd, uh, why Japan? But at the same time, it's not that odd because uh, Southeast Asian nations have had a very long relationship with Japan, whether it was during the Japanese occupation or even prior to that. I think it's very important for artists to show in Japan, also because the first artists who actually sort of ex exhibited outside of their own country, like Indonesia, they created a platform through countries like uh, Japan, where they met for the, in the 80s, in the beginning of the 90s, and from there on they developed their own network, and they came back with a sort of confidence that the things they were doing uh, related with other countries in the area so that Indonesian artists feel connected with the artists in Malaysia or in Thailand. And I'm not sure which country you can do the show in, in Southeast Asia. Would it be in Singapore? What would then be the, the politics of that, you know? So it is a really interesting question. 
um, in a way, Japan is very close, but there's a little bit of distance that maybe Singapore is so close. Would the shows be different?